this is a eight panel switch. So each one of these are a little bit different. So essentially this thing is entirely potted. Yeah, first impressions on this, I actually really like this. Now you can't see all the inner guts. There's not much to really look at here, but it's pretty low profile. And when I say potted, I mean it's filled with rubberized poop to help with humidity, water ingress. So you can't get water to the board or to the relays that are I imagine submerged in here. So you've got two thirties, two twenties, two tens, two five amps. So you wire in all of your individual accessories and then these are set to corresponding switches on the switch panel itself. So then you'll put little, I'm sure there's a sheet of switch panel stickers. Your light bar, fog lights, fog, amber. I'm not gonna read all these. If you put the stickers on, do you get heated seats? Why you would want a click on, click off horn, battery terminal cables, uh, dash mount, here's your breaker. You pull too much juice, pops it. So you're not always pulling a fuse or something, but also if you're pulling 60 amps through something this small, like, don't. Oh, okay, sweet. This is for a tape deck or an eight track. Um, imagine it's to mount um, this panel down somewhere in the vehicle. So. But yeah, I actually am, if it all works, I'm pretty impressed with this. So this is a different brand switch panel for a different project, but this is what I'm more accustomed to. Here's the underhood size of the box on this. Now you see here, we have full size switch relays, but it's bigger and there's really nothing to keep water from getting down in there except for your placement. How often or if that's gonna happen? Don't know. Trying to decide where to put this. Some spots here, but this is my stock fuse panel is under here. So I still want to have access to that as much as I can. Well, we're still playing with ideas here. This bolt coming through the firewall, or from the cowl probably, I put the bracket on there and that allowed the driver's side corner to come up and it's wedged here in this bracket, a little recess. I'm actually off all the wiring beneath it. Good. It's close, but it's not touching any of it. And that platform's on there pretty good. I think that's good enough to then slap this box on. <laughs> No, I don't want this thing banjo string tight. All right, but we're rapidly approaching that being a reality. Everything's going to plan. Mm-hmm. Not mad, you're mad. I want to get it in. Yeah. People watch me. <laughs> There's literally dozens of people <laughs> that might see this. Doing great, babe. That's totally what we're going for. With all our projects. Good enough. All right, let's see if we can actually reach everything. I'm cheating. I don't even know how you cheat in this, but. I'm cheating. Okay, I'll take your word for it. Oh. Cheater. <laughs> That's tricky. <laughs> Just a little bit of angle. We'll get that a little closer. Yep, you moved and angled the thingamajigger for the red. Exactly. Positive. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. It's your home. What are you too good for your home? Name that movie. Mm -hmm. Happy Gilmore. Yes. You're gonna die, clown. Sorry, same movie. There's no clowns here. Yeah, maybe. It's this big one in orange. Beautiful. And I'll cut a notch in that so it'll still close. Okay. This one just have to run up through here. Pick around. So do 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 do. We have power to this now. This is eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come on, bro. 
on this side. Oh, you, oh, you, easy peasy. Well, we're gonna see how the switch panel is holding up to its first test. Uh, well, first time we got power. Cool. Check the compressor too. Listen for it. Weather started getting nasty, so I hurried a couple things along. Whoops. Well, it's tough. So what you didn't see was I ran the extension cable out here, the cord that goes to the remote switch panel. On the 15 and up F-150s, there's a nice pass-through boot. You may just have to trust me. There it is. That you can snip a zip tie off of and sneak that through there. Cord to pop in through here, run across the back. I have to pop some covers off to get this tucked in a little prettier, but you've got enough cable. I was a little worried I was gonna be short, but it turned out to be okay. Well, I'm gonna call that a win. I didn't finish wiring in the rock lights. You'll forgive me, I hope. But the lift's here. So stick around. That should be going on once I have some room in my workshop opened up. And 37s won't be long after that. Don't look at the white car over there. That's not for you to see yet. That's a surprise. There may be some work going on with that later. Bye-bye.